Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm very delighted to stand before you on this historic occasion, which is the public presentation of the solution EID card scheme for civil servants and indeed all other government appointees. This is another milestone initiative for the Anambra State Civil Service and it's coming just a month after phase one uh, distribution of 200 laptops and computers uh, to civil servants uh, and political appointees in order to enhance uh, the extension process. Now, this is a journey that started about um, you know, me not having um, uh, an identity card, even though I know that there's one that gets issued. And I don't think any member of my team at the agency, you know, we have had any ID card. And so we started thinking of the way to ensure that we solve that problem, which is to create an identity card that is truly, truly genuine, not the one where anyone can go to Aroma and print an ID card. Indeed, as an agency, we want to sign technology, we thought that that was wrong. So this solution EID card that we are unveiling today is a collaboration between the state government and academia uh, through our uh, agency's uh, solution internship program. They would, you would see what they have built. What they have built is limitless in its possibilities, um, you know, because they built a system that is very robust. And as we know, as the commissioner has said, the world as we know it has rapidly transformed into a digital state. And so we continue to appreciate uh, the efforts of Mr. Governor to promote access to technology and in all areas of the public sector. And we cannot wait to see the overall positive impact that this strategy will have on the workforce and our beloved state in general. I must say that Mr. Governor's support to the agency has been very, very helpful and useful. Uh, at every point we go with some of our short ideas, Mr. Governor is always willing to listen. And that's why we said that, yes, the first set we distributed was phase one. We would also come up with phase two, where we can also ensure that gradually we get, get to begin to replace and you know give uh, our public uh, civil servants access to devices that they need. And like the head of service mentioned, we're working frantically to bring internet to the secretariat such that you would not need to go to the cyber cafe. At the very minimum, you would have access to one or two computers in your office and access to internet to work with. And you know, um, and you have Thank you very much. And so you don't have to go to the business center. So let me boldly say that this is the first time in the history of Anambra and under the visionary leadership of Governor Soludo uh, that civil servants and all other government employees can easily identify themselves on the go, while government and citizens can equally identify themselves with ease. The era of fake government employees is actually gone. The ICT agency is thrilled to have revived and, over, uh, and oversaw this digital identity management initiative on behalf of the state government. Um, you, with the demo you would see, you would actually see how, you know, how this works. Um, it's an e just like you have your e-passport, our normal passport today is the e-passport, but you also have a physical copy. But the idea of the e is that everything is behind a database. So each time you want to verify, if, in fact, we're going to empower Ndianambra to be able to verify. Of course, we'll limit what they can see. But if you go, if you say you are a security officer or you are an angel, whatever you are, an Anambra uh, indigenous, only Anambra can ask you, because identify yourself. And once you bring out your ID, either on your phone, whoa, not on your phone, <laughs> or a physical copy, um, there's something called the QR code behind. With this, once the person scans this with their phone's camera, it will take them to the database, our database and show them who you are. So the idea of hiding under anything fake is actually gone. So how it works, the, I, the EID card will be available on the Play Store as a downloadable app, which every civil servant is expected to have access to and sign up with their name, telephone number, and email address. If you don't have a smartphone, you can we'll also set up centers where you can do it within the office like the commissioner said, where you can onboard. But, uh, so it can be printed and it can be scanned as well, just like this with the QR code and it will still remain. So it's, it's a dual card. It can be, it can stay physical on your phone. It can also be done like this. Now let me quickly emphasize that the acceptable email address is the official email address, which is in the format of your first name, your last name, at anambrastate.gov.ng. So we encourage all civil servants to please embrace some of these uh, innovations we are bringing. Uh, it's not very ideal that you know a civil servant or an employee of any company is communicating 
uh, on behalf of the company and it's using their private email, the standard practice is that you communicate with the official email and then you keep your private email for your private activities. That is the global standard and we're trying to bring this to Anambra State because Anambra, in Mr. Governor's world, is an A state and we have to push to remain an A state. So a quick and detailed presentation will be made available shortly uh, for a more extensive understanding of how the EID camp operates. I encourage everyone here to please pay close attention uh, by ensuring the efficient effective use and management of this system when we fully deploy. On, my, on the final note, I want to thank uh, my boss, Mr. Governor, for supporting this important initiative and for providing the necessary uh, resources to make it a success. Mr. Governor, we remain truly grateful for your vision. And I also want to appreciate the support of the head of service, um, Barrister Theodora Okwigwebe, MNI, for her continuous support uh, towards enhancement of the state workforce because she's one person that is very passionate. Once I say uh, anything, you say, friend, how does this benefit my, my people, my staff? She's very passionate about the civil service and, I, and I'm very excited to be working with her because each time we are always collaborating to ensure that we, we help to build a civil service that is highly professional. And also to my senior colleagues here present, um, Mr. Christian Dutchbu, Commissioner for um, uh, Industry, uh, and Mr. Don Onyeje, Onyeje the Commissioner for <laughs> Culture, Entertainment, and Tourism. Please, a round of applause for him. Uh, I want to thank them uh, for their continuous support and every member of the Federal Executive uh, Council for their commitment to Mr. Governor's vision of a livable and prosperous uh, smart mega city. I'm uh, not forgetting my team at the ICT agency uh, who work tirelessly uh, day and night. Um, even the civil service servants in my, t on my team, um, they, 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 they have the mindset of a very organized private sector operation. So they come to work at nine and most times they live at five and six, working very hard. So I want to say to all of you ICT agency team, thank you for your hard work from Dianambra. God bless you all. Uh, so God bless Mr. Governor. Uh, God bless uh, the ANSEC and God bless uh, Anambra State. Join me all to say, Solution is here. Solution is here. Thank you very much. God bless you.